Alec Jackson ran some miles with bison. Is that really his name? That's an animal. Yeah. <laughs> That's an animal. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, not yeah. <laughs> hey, normally, normally people name their cats and dogs like human names like Bob or Earl or something, but most people don't get named after like a mountain lion or a cheetah or something of the sort. <laughs> Redunner Nation, we are back and better than ever with a new edition of the Weekly Rundown. I'm the writer host, John Dolovacki. I'm still waking up, but I am your better host, Wesley Harton. What are we talking about this week, John? This week we have a ton of amazing activities from the world of Strava. I mean, you guys just hit it big this weekend. Before we get into that though, first, did Barty finish his weekly half marathon this week? Paul Barty, listen, this guy showed up this week. Paul ran a marathon distance to kick off the week, bringing his streak to 495 straight weeks. Paul claimed that he was taking advantage of the last cool, temperatured morning for a while. The best part about this was Paul hopped on the OCP bandwagon after I delivered a box to him. ETP also got out on the course and provided an aid station for Barty. Paul also took to Strava to try to convince the Strava world to join Hate the Heat Club on Strava. Uh, we've talked about this before. Personally, I am I'm staying very far away from this club because I love the summer days and I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. You can join the club, you can not join the club, uh, but check out Paul's club if you feel the same way about his heat ideologies that uh, he, he feels. And all right, before we close things out, Barty posted a, this picture later in the week. What in the world happened to this guy? Let me know in the comments below what you think happened, because I honestly have no idea what got to my poor little guy Bambi over here. Nevertheless, great work this week, Paul, and uh, we'll see you next week. All right, we're about to dive into the Strava Rundown part of the show, and this week was absolutely wild, like we said in the beginning. You guys just got out there and killed it. But before we do that, if you guys had not checked out the most recent episode of Ridge Runners Live, it's an absolute must watch. We had a local Brian Poland on to talk about his run across Ohio, the fundraiser they're doing for Kent Newhop, and just some amazing stories from this experience of his. So check it out on YouTube, at podcast, and now even Spotify. Yeah, you heard that right. We're on Spotify too. We must be big time now, Wesley. Yeah, I mean, do you know what also is big time, John? Uh, how are your legs feeling? Uh, pretty tired. I know my legs are feeling the effects of running across Ohio virtually uh, right now. At the time of this recording, there were less than 30 spots available for the virtual run across Ohio. Honestly, it might be sold out at this point, but if it's not, you can get in there before June 7th. Uh, runs for Camp Nihop, like we mentioned. Uh, we are super excited to add a new segment uh, to the show, basically highlighting all of those activities from people's activities virtually running across Ohio next week. And I think there's gonna be some awesome stories to share. So we'll have a new segment next week, bringing you all that news. Yeah, absolutely. There have been so many awesome stories from that event already, and we're excited to see what this weekend's gonna bring to it. Also make sure you give us a like on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram for the reveal of our next Ridge Runner Live guest. Stay tuned. Now for our Strava Rundown. Remember, if you want to get noticed on the Rundown, join the Ridge Runners Club by visiting the link in the description below. And look at Wesley keeping it keeping it fresh with the well, apparently. Oh, dude, this is a this is a really high quality dance move uh, in the 2019s. This was super popular about a year ago. It's uh, you just break it down. You go up and then you kind of bring it around and then you just stop. So. And it, it, the best part about this dance move is that you can do it however you want. There's really no certain way to do it. Uh, my way is often worse than other people's ways of doing it. Uh, but that's basically for every Usually. every dance move that I do. But uh, yeah, doing the world this week. Uh, let's get out of this segment. Lindsay Freeman got things started for us by running loops and loops at Chapman Forest up in Northeast Ohio. These are great pictures as well. It looks like it was just a bit too cloudy to see all the way down into downtown Cleveland. But if you haven't run here before, you have to go check it out. The amount of green in these pictures just makes me love summer months. I'm happy that things are turning green again. Well done, Lindsay. 
Josh Kirkpatrick got out to Lake Hope and said that this was his fastest run so far. Josh was mentioned during our Iron Furnace Trail Run Virtual Run episode, and it looks like he's all about Lake Hope now, which is awesome to see. Uh, awesome job on maintaining that pace throughout the run. I think there's another PR coming your way very soon. Carrie Stefan had an awesome run over the weekend down in Cincinnati. She ran the Art Climb. Wesley, haven't you been there before? I haven't. I gotta check this place out though because those pictures just look absolutely awesome. Yeah, they do. Great work, Carrie. It appears that Anna Monarchino is ducking me and decided to take her talents out to Idaho. She mentioned that she would be there for the next few months and Jealous doesn't even describe how I feel about this. Between the elk, the horses, the mountain lions, and all the other wildlife, you should have plenty to keep your eye on out there. We're super excited to see more epic runs with some crazy vert numbers out there. Keep up the awesome work. Dave, 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 Dave. Dave, Dave, Dave. 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 Dave Cottrell put up a massive 50K effort for the weekend running a classic O and B. Who does Dave think he is? Running 30 miles and just calling it a morning run like it's some casual thing. I think there should be a new rule on Ridge Runner Nation. If you have a long run, you have to include an interesting title or we will just sit up here and ramble about nothing. Oh, they don't want that, no one... John. They do not want that. No, they don't. That would be terrible. <laughs> Congrats on all the awesome achievements from this run. Well done, Dave. Adrienne Grooms had an awesome run out at the Bailey's Trail System. She said that she would 10 out of 10 recommend. And I honestly couldn't agree more. Just make sure that you know where you're going. A little pro tip there. Uh, her pictures beautifully showcased everything Bailey's has to offer. Super awesome run, Adrian. We're excited to see more epic runs from you in the future. Have you been out there yet, Wesley? Uh, partially, yeah. I was out there for a little bit, but uh, I'll just leave it at that. Heidi Shaw and Jessica Kopowitz decided to run a marathon all over the beautiful city of Athens. This was Heidi's longest run. This looked like an absolute amazing time, and the pictures from the dam at Strouds are fantastic. You guys had the full aid station and everything. Just way to get after it, I love it. When I think of Morgantown, West Virginia runners, I think Waylon Burke, he's gotta be at one of the top on that list. Uh, Waylon knocked out a 50K distance run competing in the East Coast versus West Coast 50K. John, I think our thoughts last week about us winning that race may have been a little preemptive, but I'm confident to say that we're still gonna win whenever this event does wrap up. Is that about right, John? Yeah, obviously, East Coast is the best. Waylon said that he could have done better, but way to grind it out. These efforts are just as valiant as a perfect day is, and sometimes those are even more inspiring. Way to get after it. Andrew Wall was down in Tennessee at Frozen Head State Park with Jeff, Willie, and M.O. The group completed one of the loops of the Berkeley Challenge, and I think Wesley is salivating in the mouth from thinking about his uh, experience down there. Pictures from this run were absolutely awesome. Just look at that rat jaw. It's early rat jaw season two. This picture does not do it quite the justice it deserves. Andrew has been putting in more miles than anyone we know since early March. Fantastic job. Alex Jackson ran some miles near Patel Darby Creek Metro Park that's just west of Columbus with some bison this past weekend. Alex must have pulled some crazy map to find this place because he's the first person I have ever seen on Strava to run out here. And the bison was a nice touch. That would have been uh, interesting. Yeah, no doubt, John. Do you know what uh, a bison tells his first son when he goes off to college? No, what? Bye, son. <laughs> Probably the most dad joke I've ever heard. Nevertheless, Alex has been putting up some miles. Keep it up, Alex. We want to give a huge congratulation to everyone who competed in the Limitless Vertical Challenge last week. Chase Moore climbed over 29,000 feet over the seven days, absolutely crushing it. Annie Lang and Jonathan Bernard both logged the double Everest in that time on treadmills, logging over 58,000 feet of elevation gain in the seven day period. But the biggest kudos goes to Chadwick C. Rob Robinson for logging the same 58,000 feet of vertical gain, but doing it all outside throughout Ohio. I mean, this was just absolutely crazy. C. Rob logged 157 miles during the week, over 24 different activities to get this done. Absolutely bonkers. Congrats to everyone who competed in this event. It appears that Nick McDonald and Chase Smith got some crazy loops in at Great Seal State Park. Nick conquered 50 miles during his time out there and Chase knocked out a casual 50K distance and just crazy numbers from everyone around the Red Runner Nation. Now, Wesley, the question is, do these two races or events or these activities have uh, a different than just afternoon run? 
Uh, I believe so. I believe so. Maybe not, though. I kind of, I, you know, I forget. I hope so, because, you know, then they would be following the Ridge Runner policy. If, you did, if you're doing crazy epic events over this weekend, feel free to send us a Call to the Nation segment or any of our social platforms so we can be highlighted on next week's show. Unbelievable effort to these two amazing runners. And to round things out, Kyle Kalmayer completed in the We Belong series virtual 50K. I don't know about you, but I'm super motivated after seeing all these crazy adventures from this past weekend. Keep doing your thing, Ridge Runner Nation, and well done to everyone. Kyle, awesome run, and we're excited to see more epic adventures from everyone this weekend. And with that, thanks for tuning in to this week's rundown from the Ridge Runners. Be sure to check back next week to stay updated on all things trail and ultra, mostly east of the Mississippi. Wesley, did you die over there? Yeah, I kind of fell apart over here, but Nick Voss yeah. too. In addition, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell below if you want to be notified every time we release a new video. If you enjoy our shows, give it a share with your friends and hit that like button along the way. I'm your writer host, John Dolovacki. And I'm wide awake now, Wesley Harden. We'll see you next week on the Weekly Rundown.